mom again. <laughs> In the concluding episode of the third season of Sweet Home, the surviving individuals manage to flee the stadium, following the transformation of Sergeant Tack into a creature made of ice. This icy monster then constructs a pathway for them to reach the external world. Jay Jin, the metallic acid MH, attempts to flee with the group, but is intercepted by Tack. He becomes furious and endeavors to eliminate everyone in the stadium basement, prompting Jia Yeong to selflessly offer herself as a sacrifice to protect the others. Sang Won, the primary adversary, attempts to regain entry into Kai Seong's body following expulsion by Yi Su, but is ultimately defeated by Hai and Su. Hai and Su, Yoon Hai Eok and Yoon Yu are reunited at the end of Sweet Home. Season 3 of Sweet Home concluded with only three important characters from the green home Cha Hai and Su, Lee Yoon Hai Eok, and Lee Yoon Yu remaining alive. Those who managed to escape the stadium started searching for new homes as humanity sought a fresh start with the assistance of the neo-humans. On top of the green home, Hai and Su and Yoon Hai Eok are seen in the last scene of Sweet Home. The way they dressed and even their hairstyles were similar to how they were in season 1, giving the impression that things were gradually returning to normal. After then, it becomes clear that Yoon Yu is still alive. Since beginning her transformation, Go Min sees Yoon Yu did not make an appearance in the finale. We can assume that Yoon Yu underwent a complete metamorphosis into a neo human after having visions of her brother and former home. She may have transformed into a neo human, since her expression in the last scene was one of slight disengagement. Nonetheless, it becomes clear from Yoon Hyeok's narration that he and Hyun Su are eagerly anticipating the day when neo humans would be able to recover not just their memories, but also their emotions. If neo-humans are given the chance and affection, they can reclaim their personality, as Yoon Hyeok appeared considerably more human in the season 3 finale of Sweet Home. Even though Song Kang's Cha Hyun Su can reanimate certain monsters, he is unable to instantly alter a neo-human's behavior. This is why it's important to give Yoon Hyeok and Yoon Yu some space to settle into their new lives. Thankfully, they'll be doing it side by side. What happened to the survivors of the stadium in Sweet Home Season 3? Many of the surviving residents of Green Home were among the many characters who met their demise in Sweet Home Season 3. But many of the stadium's inhabitants made it through Nam Sang Invasion 1s and the subsequent decisive combat. The survivors still needed to locate a new dwelling since the stadium had been leveled. The remnants of the stadium were revisited by Cha Hai and Su, Private Park, and other troops in their search for any survivors. Another way Hai and Su gave humanity a second chance was by transforming some of the monsters into humans using his talents. Because there weren't enough homes for everyone, the soldiers decided to broaden their search to find other sites where the survivors could start over. A huge horde of neo-humans encountered the sweet home heroes as they made their way from the stadium to another area. They avoided arguments by figuring out what they had in common and eventually became friends. In an effort to restore Earth, neo-humans and humans are currently collaborating. If we want to stay alive, Hai and Su says we have to team up with neo-humans. How Nam Sang Won was defeated in Sweet Home's finale. The fact that Nam Sang Won's monstrous power allowed him to leap across bodies made him an extremely tough opponent to beat. Unlike Hai and Su, who was determined to return the girl and preserve Yi Su's body, Yoon Hai Eok was hell bent on eliminating Sang Won. Despite the girl's injuries, Sang Won swiftly hopped to another corpse and launched another attack on Hai and Su. After Sang Won resisted Song Kang's character's attempt to throw him back into the fire, he successfully switched bodies once more. Unlike before, he was able to find Sang Wook's lifeless body near the stadium and bring it back to life. Sang Won appeared more powerful and self assured than before, prompting Yoon Hai Eok to propose sacrificing himself. After Yoon Hai Eok had Sang Won take control of his body, he intended to commit suicide by jumping into a fire in an effort to stave off Sang Won's control. Having said that, it wasn't essential. What happened to Seo Yi Su at the end of Sweet Home? Perhaps the most pivotal character in Sweet Home's third season was Yi Kaing's daughter. 
with the ability to transform humans into monsters at the touch of a button, Seo Yi Su drew the line between human and monster, and she had few close friends except from, perhaps, Hai and Su. The death of Yi Kaiying left Yi Su vulnerable, even if she and her mother eventually worked things out. The boy began to cultivate a legion of synthetic neo-humans, and Sang Won eventually utilized him as a replacement body. In the aftermath of Sang Won's defeat, Yi Su passed away while being held by Hai and Su after suffering injuries in the final battle. The third season finale of Sweet Home lives true to its name as Hai and Su and his pals discover the meaning of home, sweet home in the midst of their hardships and the hope that things would improve. In the last scene, Hai and Su, Yoon Hai Eok, and Yoon Yu appear strikingly similar to their counterparts from season 1. This is not an accident. The remaining green home residents are back together after everything they've been through. But now things will be different, especially because Yoon Hai Eok and Yoon Yu are both neo-humans still searching for their own identities. Although it was bittersweet, the finale of Sweet Home was arguably a happy one.